Hey guys, and welcome to the Chitty Kitchen. Um, as you know, or hopefully you know, uh, my coworkers, Mr. Johnson, Coach Johnson, and Miss Sahaki, both hosted um, science experiments that you can do at home with the bottle rocket and the milk. So I decided to show you a little science experiment of my own. And my favorite kind of science experiment is the one that you get to eat. So when I say science experiment, I mean something you bake. So this is actually a very um, easy recipe. All you need is a pre-made graham cracker crust pie dish. Uh, we use Keeblers because that's what the husband brought home when I sent him to the groceries. You need six. Hershey bars, regular ones. If you do king size, you need a little bit less. Good grief, girl. Um, but we have, she's getting ready. She's getting ready for the intensity of this uh, baking. Yeah, and then a tub of Cool Whip. So the first thing we're gonna do with my little helpers here is we're gonna open up our six candy bars and you're going to put them into a microwave safe bowl. You wanna help me? Can you put them in? I don't trust you to not eat it. Put it in. Oh, my chair. Put it in the bowl. <coughs> Seth, you got Okay, Seth. We got to open them. We got to open the bars. Yeah. Can you break them and put them in the, the dish? Yeah. Break them up. Not Just put them in. Good job. Can you break it and put it in the bowl? Put it in the bowl. We're not eating it. We're not eating it. Not yet. I'll let you guys have one square. Bowl. Bowl. Here. Good job. Put it in the bowl. Good job. This is Nina. This is Nina. This is Nina. Put it in the bowl. Oh, you gotta break them. You gotta break them. And for being good helpers, you each get a square. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Nope. No. Well, this one's up for us, so. <laughs> We're not sharing with anyone. Thank you. Good job, guys. Here, that's yours right there. So you're going to put it in the microwave and melt it in 30 second intervals. And you need a microwave safe bowl. No fires happen under this video. My trusty sidekick cleaning up my messes for me. Thank you, dear. And this is just a reminder that with everything going on, you're stuck at home, virtual learning is really getting the best of us. It's really tough. Um, and after four weeks of it, I'm just tired. So it's good to take a break every once in a while and do something just for you. Do something fun. Whether it's go outside and run or play in the sprinklers. I know some of you may think I'm too old to play in the sprinklers, but my goodness, it is hot and it is just something fun to do. Seth, do you like to play in the water outside? Sorry. Why are you warming it up? Why are you warming it up? I'm warming it up to melt it. Okay. So, another thing to remember while you're stuck at home is that your brain is really tired because you don't have a set schedule. So try to schedule breaks into your virtual learning classes. <laughs> but I love laughing that. I'm laughing that. Because if you know, when you're at school, you're at school, you get to socialize, so you're not just learning all day. You've got lunch breaks, you get breaks in between to go to classes. Ooh, look at that, it's all melted. Um, it's a little bit hot. You just gotta watch. Here's a little bit for you. I'm gonna do a bit. 
Use your spoon. And a little bit for you. Use your spoon and mix it up. Good job. Mixing it. Mixed. And because of virtual learning, you don't really get a break to, you know, when you stop school, you get to go to your activities, you get to go to your practices, your extracurricular activities, and you go home, and you have these set breaks set into your schedule, but right now, you're just at home, and you're working, 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 and if you're not scheduling those breaks in, your brain is just really on overload. So it's a good idea. So now we're gonna put. Oh, sorry. Now we're gonna put in the Cool Whip here. Here's a little bit of Cool Whip for you. Little Missy, get your spoon out of my bowl. And a little bit of Cool Whip for you. It's your bowl. Mix your bowl. This is yours. It's your bowl. Mix it up. So we've got the melted chocolate. It took me a full minute total, but you want to do 30 second increments so that your chocolate doesn't burn. And because everyone's microwave is a little bit different, so you start with 30 minutes, or sorry, wow, Mommy 30 it. seconds, Mommy and it, it took me two 30 Mommy second intervals it. to get all the it. chocolate to melt. Good job, y'all are doing a good job. And then you're gonna mix in the Cool Whip. Oh, Mommy, look, I'm making a circle. I'm making a circle. I'm gonna make a square. I'm making a square. Mommy. And? I'm making a square. You're making a square with yours? And that's basically it. That's Hershey's um, pie. That's what we made. Hershey pie. So you mix. Did you make a little one? Hershey pie. Good job. So then, once you have the Cool Whip and the Hershey's all mixed together, and if you're like Lena, she just wants to eat it. Do you want to try it? Here. Look it. No? Okay. Freaking you out? Look it. You still got to open your mouth to lick. Okay. All right. So my weird kids don't think they want to eat this. <laughs> all right. So then once you have that all mixed in, you're going to pour it into your pie dish. I love to eat it. Your pie crust. We go easy here and just get one pre-made. Oh, <gasps> Look at that, guys. It's a snowman. It's a snowman? Yeah. Here, I can see it. Oh, I, and see, then, I can see it's a banana monkey. It's a banana monkey. Look at that So then you just spread. Ready? This amazing chocolatey, cool whippy goodness around in your pie dish. And then that awesome little plastic part that comes on top of the pie dish when you buy it at the store, that serves as a top to your dish because you have to um, let it cool. I mean, I guess you could just lick the stuff straight out of the bowl. You don't have to cook this. You don't have to bake it. Nothing like that. You just need to let it chill. So they say it takes about two hours to let it chill so that it's at a good consistency. And in this hot, muggy, gross weather that we've been having, what better than to dive into a nice, cold, delicious treat as you take a break from your studies. And now, because I thought ahead, I planned ahead, I went ahead and made one already. And so we're gonna dive in. this guy. All right, y'all want to try it? You got to open your mouth, kid. You weird it out? Ah, nope. Okay, more for me. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> the first time I've ever made this, so we got really lucky. You like the chocolate? This is the same thing. You want chocolate? 
All right, so try it at home. Look at that. Mmm, delicious. Try it at home. Get together with your family. It's a nice, easy recipe, oh, and you nice. can get a nice five-minute break hey. and a delicious treat afterwards. I hope y'all are safe. God bless. Stay Celtic strong.